How are you? No, really. How are you? How are you? How are you doing? What's going on in your life? What's happening to you? What's happening in you? What's happening around you? What's going on with you? How are you? People, I know, will say those platitudes to you, but I really want to know. How are you? I know it might be a little hard to get a hold of me, but, you know, if you really want to talk, I'll listen. See, you may think this is like some huge ministry, but even if it is, and hundreds of thousands of people see these, I'm willing to stop. I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to look you in the eye and say, hey, how are you doing? Forget about everyone else out there. Forget about all the world and just focus in on you and I. How are you? I want you to know, I care. I care how you're doing. I care what you're going through. I care. I, I know it's hard because I've been there. I felt the doubts too and I've really gone through it just as much if not more than you I have tried suicide you know up to a point where God stopped me and it had to be God because no one else would have stopped me I've been there where you know you kind of don't want to be a Christian anymore you know and you you go your own way you know and you you say forget it I've had it that's it I'm just partying or I'm just going my way I'm going to do it because I'm tired of it. I've had it. It's over anyways. God can't forgive me. I can't forgive me. And you know, I get it. I've been there. I've done it. Yeah, me. That's right. You know, the guy that does all these videos, you know, and talks about Jesus and has Jesus inside. Yeah, really, I have. I've run so far that I tried to get away from God. You know, I tried to hide from Jesus. I tried to put Him outside of my existence. You know, I've been a Christian bartender. I've been a Christian everything because the only reason why I put the Christian part on is because I couldn't get away from God. Even though I tried. Even though I denied Him at times. So, don't think you're alone. I've been there. I've done it. Matter of fact, I'm kind of one of those people that I only have grace because I don't have anything else. I don't have a great testimony. Well, at least I don't think it's that great. I don't have all these wonderful gifts. Well, you know, maybe some things. I don't have, you know, like all the money in the world. <laughs> well, that's for sure. I'm broke. <laughs> I'm in debt. So I get it. But, you see, I never had anybody come up and say, out of any ministry, hey, I want to talk to you. And I do. Write this down. Mr. Net Business. Now that's spelled M-R-N-E-T-B-I-Z-N-E-S-S. -S -S, at Gmail. Now, I don't always check that because I get thousands of those from all kinds of ministries trying to, you know, either get money or send me their devotion or whatever, but you could try to get a hold of me that way, you know, and hey, if I see it, I'll talk to you. I'll respond. You and I can relate, you know, and hey, maybe maybe I understand and maybe I don't. Maybe you just want to tell me about it. I'll listen. Why not? You got my attention, don't you? If you can't get a hold of me that way, you know, try Facebook. You know, Michael James Stone. Pretty simple. M-I-C-H-A-E-L-J-A-M-E-S-S-T-O-N-E. -E. And you can see this face. You can see this nose. You can see my eyes. Where's the coffee? You can see my eyes. You can get a hold of me. So, check it out. Try to get in touch with me. 
Because I'll listen. Really, I will. I'm serious. Why do you think I made this video? So that you would know that, hey, it's not all about the thousands out there. It's not all about all these you know, great revivals that everybody goes running forward to make an altar call. It's about you. Seriously. And I don't care if you've been saved for 20 years. Are you losing it? Are you like, at the end of your rope? Been there too. Matter of fact, sometimes I get there just about every day. You know, it's like, man, I do these ministry things, you know, I do devotionals and do all this stuff, and then it's kind of like, you know, I look around and it's like all this junk is going on, and it's like, man, yeah. <laughs> then it overwhelms me, and then I'm like, oh boy, God, where are you? Maybe not every day I feel that way, but, you know, just about. Some days are worse, some days are better. You know, but maybe your days have been all bad and it's all dark. It's not getting any lighter out. And all shadows and shades and, you know, a lot of oppression. You're feeling really discouraged. It's okay. I know been there. I've hurt. I'm a man who knows how to cry. I'm a man that actually has felt the same things you're feeling. I don't care if you're a woman or a man. Don't tell me I've been there. We all got a story. The scars we bear often are the things that we care to share with one another. And I want to hear about your scars. I want to hear about your tears. I want to know the fears that you have and the feelings that you've fallen into because you can't get a hold of faith. And you've lost your hope and you don't know your way. Maybe if I just listen, you'll find your way. Maybe if you just tell me I might have something. Who knows? Maybe you're dying. Last breath. Maybe you're suffering. And God knows I've done a lot of that over the years. You hate it. You want to get over it. Maybe you're in repetitive sin. And you can't quit sinning. You can't stop yourself. And you can't get over yourself because Satan's really got you all bound up in guilt. You know, and you just keep doing that same old sin again and again and again. Been there. Done that. God knows. You want to talk? I'm willing to listen. This isn't some gimmick. It isn't some fancy schmancy you know like oh well now we're going to get you know a gospel message and we're going to throw this all into you know some kind of spiritual you know awakening and you're going to feel better you're not you really aren't if you don't get help from someone you won't be able to help yourself God can help you maybe I can help you maybe someone around you will care but if you choose to really stick it out alone you'll die You'll die spiritually, you'll die emotionally, and you'll die physically. And you don't have to. Because, you know, I know you may have looked on the internet and seen all these different ministries, and, you know, you kind of, different people have chucked you and chucked you and tossed you out and said, ugh, blech, blech, oh, gruesome, oh, gross, disgusting, ugh, can't deal with that. Try me. <laughs> Try me. I might not have your answer. I might not have your solution. But you got my ear. Maybe you might even tug at my heart. I might shed a tear or feel something. Because right now I just feel like I need to tell you. I need to let you know. I need to communicate to you that, hey, that's what I'm here for. That's what God in me is here for. That's why Jesus didn't abandon me when I felt like you. Because he wanted me to go through it. He wanted me to feel it. 
He wanted me to, gross as it may be, experience it. So that way, I can help. Because I've been there. There's others too. Though they may not make a video like this to talk to you. Though they might not, like, take the time to take their hands and reach out to you and say, Hey, take my hand. Here I am. Don't let go. Reach out, for God's sake, if not your own. And let me know. Come on. I'm here. Give. Come on. It's okay. A little smirk, you know. Or a little frown. Or a really downer. But I'm here. And you know, maybe that's not enough for you. Maybe you need more. Maybe while we're talking, God is doing more. Maybe while you're watching, God is moving heaven and earth to get to you. You know, because maybe maybe you're surrounded by like all this kind of like spiritual stuff. You know that you don't really understand it. You know, doesn't make much sense. Kind of like evil. Maybe you're stuck in it. You can't get out of it. So how do you go through it? Because you can't go anywhere or do anything about it. Talk to me. If you can't get a hold of me, you know, like Facebook or you know, Google me or you know, Gmail or whatever. Tell you what. Try something different, weird, you know, bizarro, wacko. Try calling out, you know. I mean, okay, so if you feel too embarrassed to talk to Jesus and you're too feeling like far away from God to ask God, just tell you what, you know, just where you're at right now, just pray that God will, you know, tell me how to get a hold of you. You know, that, that, I don't know. You know, that God will show me how to reach out to you and tell you, I'm here. Maybe you can't talk to me yet, but I'm here. And when you can, get a hold of me. I'm here. I'm for you. I'm with you. Hey, I, I know you heard the song before, but, you know, yeah, you are heavy, but you're my brother and you're my sister. And, you know, I may not be able to carry you, but I can struggle with you. I can feel you. I can I can hear you. I can understand. Maybe I don't have all the resources in the world to meet your need, but one thing I can do is listen. You want to tell me about it? You want to, you know, talk? You want to go have some coffee? If we plan it out, we could even go have a beer. I'm not afraid of that. I'll go sit in a bar and listen to what you got to say. You know, I've sat at the other side of the bar as a bartender and listened to a lot of what people had to say. Matter of fact, a lot of people hurting. A lot of people going through some tough stuff. I met a lot of Christians in bars that were really struggling. Just like I was. Maybe today you need to know that someone is waiting for you. I don't mean God, and you know, you already know the story. You know Jesus, and you know God, and you know all that. You know, you, you pretty much got it down. You've heard the rap. But someone that's flesh and blood, a human being that has God in them, is willing to listen to you and willing to stop for a moment, to stop the world, to put aside the ministry, to change the direction and pay attention to you, to look you in the eye and say, God, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. I, I feel it. I'm hurting with you. I understand. I know. Maybe 
maybe it's not all sweetness and light. Maybe it is darkness and despair. But I, I just wanted you to know. I just wanted to take a moment to really, 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 I don't mean really, to look me in the eye and see I care. I care. Would you dare to reach out to me? You want to get in touch? You want to talk? You want someone to listen? Here am I. God sent me. Here am I. I'll listen. Try me. Because the one thing about video, it's not about thousands. It's about the one. The one person. The one, the one heart that God wants to reach out through me in some way, even as messed up as I am, to reach out and talk to you and to tell you, hey, I care. I really do. Here I am. You want to talk? You want someone to listen? You want someone to help? Here I am. Just come. Just come. Just come and tell me about it. Just talk to me. Just tell me. Let me hear it. Let me feel it. Let me know it. I know it's your story. I know it's your struggle. I know it's your trial. And I know you may not win. You feel like you won't win at all. But tell me. Tell me and let God in me and God with me and God through me. Maybe be there with you. Maybe be in you. Maybe be to you. Whom he wants to be. Because God knows I, I'm nobody special. But you know, I'm more than willing to listen. Get a hold of me. Talk to me. Tell me.